Yu Chun Christopher Wong S3 Studio, Getty Images A Visual Representation of the Digital Cryptocurrency Bitcoin is seen on September 4, 2018 in Hong Kong. Hong Kong this week brought more bad news for Bitcoin investors. The world's largest cryptocurrency fell as much as 11% to a low of $3,293.31 on Friday, its lowest level since September 2017, according to data from Coindesk. Over the past seven days, Bitcoin is down more than 20%. The price drops follow a miserable November for Bitcoin. The cryptocurrency ended the month down 37%. Its worst drop since April 2011 when the cryptocurrency fell about 39%. According to data from Coindesk, show chapters can blockchain save Bitcoin. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time Friday, the 30th of November 2018, 1 o'clock other major cryptocurrencies also suffered on Friday. XRP, the second largest by market value was down 7% while Ether fell 11%. Timothy Tam, CEO of cryptocurrency research firm Quinfi, said Bitcoin's large move downward was a combination of factors. On Thursday, the SEC extended their review period of a much-awaited Bitcoin ETF until February 27, while Gabor Gerbax, who's spearheading the Bitcoin ETF effort at Vanek, said the move was expected. The market still reacted. Tweet historically there is price correlation with expectation of an ETF approval and downward movement when the ETF gets rejected or delayed. Tam told CNBC Friday. Sentiment among retail investors in the crypto space is already negative. So any negative news like this generates an overreaction. Michael Morrow, CEO of Genesis Trading said unlike prior weeks with drama in another cryptocurrency Bitcoin Cash, this week's moves don't appear to be event-driven. It looks like a continuation of the momentum trade that it has been for all of 2018. Morrow said, sure interest has continued to spike, as trading firms look to take advantage of the volatility. Morrow has also seen an uptick in selling by some long-term Bitcoin holders. The general market sentiment seems to be that this crypto winter could last for some time. Not too many people are expecting a V-shaped recovery in 2019. He said, whale watching it could also be speculation that a certain early Bitcoin investor is dumping his or her Bitcoin. Tamps Quinfi detected about $231 million of Bitcoin moving from a wallet that hadn't been touched since 2014. Within 15 to 20 minutes of that signal, markets immediately began to move. Tam said, again, it's a knee-jerk reaction. Retail investors are acting on speculation and raw emotion. The problem is that the signal, that wallet transfer, was very real. Quinfi provides signal data to some large investors and if even one of them decides to liquidate based on that signal, it could end up triggering a chain reaction. Tam said, watch, here's why every industry should be looking at blockchain show chapters, here's why every industry should be looking at blockchain 8.31 a.m. Eastern Time Thursday, the 11th of January 2018, 2.52.